Good morning everybody, just about still morning, Thursday. Um, do you know it's like a winter's day, the sun's just come out so maybe it will warm up this afternoon but it's been so cold here the last couple of days. Um, and I'm trying not to put the central heating on too much. Um, sort of, when I come down for my first cup of tea probably, about five o'clock in the morning, I'll switch it on low for um, an hour just to warm the rooms up before I get up and have my shower. And then um, I put it on just before I go to bed and I'm tending to go up to my bedroom quite early. So, um, to read and do stuff, you know. So, um, it's on for a couple of hours a day, I suppose. But it's May, it's um, 6th of May, and I remember in the offices where I used to work, the heating used to go off. I think it used to go off at the end of April and used to come on again. I'm not sure whether it was September or whether it was October, but certainly in the autumn. Um, and if the offices were cold then, we just used to have to put um, a convector heater on. Convector e a convector heater on. That's what we had to do. So I might get one actually, it might be an idea. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I made a video yesterday afternoon, I think it was afternoon, yesterday anyway, I made a video and my voice wasn't at its best as usual. As some of you know I've got um, pre-cancerous cells in my throat um, and strict strictures that have to be addressed occasionally. Um, I get to the point where I'm almost choking. Um, and it's not good recently. But I fumble through. So I've got upstairs in the front sitting room, which would have been mine and Alfie's bedroom, had he lived and Things gone right. Um, I've turned that into a second sitting room, um, and also somewhere where you know, if anybody comes, there's two sofas there they can sleep on them, and then upstairs there's another two bedrooms, so plenty of room for people to stay. Anyway, I'm using it as a second sitting room, and finally, I've got my laptop up on my desk. So I was sorting that out yesterday and um, got the antivirus and stuff and it was all set to go. So I made a video and do you think I can upload it? I cannot. I don't know why. Um, I had difficulty switching it off. Um, I just had to close the lid. So I will post it because I made it and I stand by what I've said in it. Um, it's about Tom Mills and his recent attitude towards subscribers and attitude towards people in general, the arrogance and the disrespect um, is just totally out of order and I feel as a supporter of that channel and um, who actually liked Andrea um, but didn't always agree with what she did and her outlook in life but I did like her um, she was calm and she you know she loved her kids but uh, what's happening to a channel at the moment it's just awful um, Tom, you'll watch this and you'll know also why I'm making a video about you. This one, the one that I've got to upload. 
you'll know why. And the reason why is because comments are deleted. You're not allowing anybody with a differing view to you to comment. Um, you're deleting comments. And last Thursday, I'm not going to go into it all again. It was um, in the video that I made yesterday. But I'll just say that the, uh, the deleting of comments last Thursday was just no respect for subscribers and no respect for the channel. You know, we're all adults, we're not children. Most of us, if we're making comments, they're um, genuine concerns and genuine points that we want to raise. And you're not allowing that. You told people shame on you. I'm not sure why shame on them, unless it's because they've been going elsewhere to Free Jinga or somewhere and um, they've been reading the comments. I don't go there. Um, and you say, oh, I don't know what's going on. And, you know, I concur. I don't know everything that's going on. But what I do know is that you've monetized the channel, which I agree with. And um, you're not short of money. And the GoFundMe should be spent on the children for what they need, not going to your pension fund. And I realise now that I am repeating what's in the other video, so I'll stop there. Um, <laughs> so I'll go and get that uploaded later. Um, what else did I want to say? Yes. The video I made the other day about people making a career out of YouTube, and they are, and I've got no problem with that, you know. Well done to them, if that's what they're doing, if that's what they're doing, and if they've got some content, if they've got something they want to share, if they take you out, show you the scenery, and if they talk and give you some inkling of what's going on in their lives. Um, people who uh, have to use their children as, um, I don't know, I don't want to use the word bait, um, but a lot of people use their children and that's how they get the views. And to be quite frank, you know, I don't really have a problem with that because I love to see the children. Um, as long as they're not being exploited. And I'm not saying that Tom's doing that by any means. I'm not talking about him now. But uh, a lot of channels, you know, it's about the kids. And I'm thinking of one channel in particular where there's 11 children, I think, and such a chaotic and hectic household um, with people saying how grand it is what's going on it isn't grand at all you know you've got feral kids whose needs aren't being addressed and that that's not on and then you've got other channels and I was quite taken aback there's one woman, and I'm not naming names, so I'm not going to be, I'm not being spiteful or anything. But there's one woman, and um, I looked at her videos a while back because she subscribed to me. And so, courtesy, I went across to see what she was doing. And I swear, most of the video was, so yeah, um... So yeah, and um, 
think I might do some baking yesterday, uh, later on. Did some yesterday. And uh, so, yeah. And this goes on for Lord knows how long. Five, six, seven minutes. So, yeah. So, yeah. And that is monetized and um i just find it crazy and then there's another one who comes on in and she does live streams and she is dirty looking with grime ingrain grime down her fingernails maybe this is this is what attracts people i don't know because it's such a caric Grime down the fingernails, dirty hands, dirty clothes, um, sitting there smoking with her boyfriend or her husband in the background shouting. And um, these are all live streams. And I, I just look on in horror at, at this. And I'm, I'm not a snob. But these people are monetized and they've got a lot of subscribers and I just find it amazing that they can get away with it, that putting out such rubbish. Um, and I really don't think that they're probably capable of doing any better. I don't know. But... Um, they're raking in the money. Yes, you can tell Anne's been on Social Blade having a look to see what, you know, who makes what, just knows the old me. <laughs> anyway, I will try to get this video uploaded this afternoon about Tom Mills. And I don't delete comments, contra contrary to what people have said. His subscribers they've come over they came over to my channel last time I made a video and were absolutely cruel and outrageous towards me and my recently deceased husband um, Alfie's got nothing to do with anything please don't bring him into it um, I don't delete comments but if you do those comments will be deleted um, this is to do with me if you don't like me and have objections to me, I'm fine with that. I won't delete your comments. I leave them where they are, unless they're, as I say, particularly ob obnoxious and, um, you know, bad language, then maybe I'll think again. But, uh, I'm, I'm not a deleter of comments. I don't have this draconian wrench whereby I go through and, and just get rid of everybody. I don't do it. I like to think I give everybody a fair chance to say what they want to say and that I'm courteous also. And that's one thing that Mr Mills is not at the moment. I'll see you later in my video from yesterday. Bye bye.